Hollywood, baby. We've arrived. As you can see from that awesome, gigantic Hollywood sign that looks just as terrible in person as it does on the camera, I've made it. Now, I know a lot of y'all are going to say, Chris, you need to go to the Orlando one. The Orlando Halloween Horror Nights is the better one. Orlando does not have the Freddy Fazbear animatronics there in person or the Megan doll. That's why I chose Hollywood, baby. I mean, you, in Orlando, are you going to get this? Check this out, cameraman. You see a lovely, nice church right there, right? Now, it all seems simple. Across the street, they got a dang exorcist advertisement. I ain't gonna find that in Orlando there. That's kind of wild that they did that. Can you imagine? It's just, they even got the cross. Exorcist lady supports the Jesus. We've now made it to Universal Studio Hollywood, my friend. Now, I've been to Universal Studios before, but what I have never done in my life is go to Halloween Horror Nights. Right down there, you can see the doors getting ready to open in a few hours. Now, I'm here at the park early because I want to hit Super Mario Land, man. That's like my appetizer before I get the crap scared out of me. Now, like I said, this is my first time. Go easy on me. Hopefully I get to all the houses and we have a good time. But uh, if this vlog is crap, I need you to lie to me in the comments and say it was awesome, all right? So let's check out the merch shop first. This is how you know I've made it home, guys. Look at this. I wish I could just take this stuff and bring it home with me. This looks freaking fantastic. I love it. All right, right over there is the gift shop. I'm gonna try not to blow my entire vacation budget here, but uh, let's see what they got. Hello, Gigi. I appreciate seeing you here. So crazy, boy. Whoa! Hannibal Lecter Chucky here. Looking good. Now, many people don't know this, but this Chucky right here was modeled after me without a shirt. I forgot where I was at for a second. Now, I thought this was kind of cool. Right here, what you have is a children's book where they turn the events of the original Halloween by John Carpenter into a kid's story. This is perfect for psycho horror fans like me that want to raise little psycho horror fans in the future. Who's not wanting to read their child a little Halloween Michael Myers book to bed? I gotta buy that. Our hero's name is Laurie. She's cute and really clever. Michael stalks this trio as they all walk home together. He spent the whole day watching them like some perverted creep, he played a game of peekaboo behind some air-dried sheets. Nathan, sit down or you're going to be in the corner all day for recess. The time had come for trick-or-treats, makeup, masks, and capes. But no one saw the crazy man with the scary shape. Do not tell your parents about this, children. This is what I definitely wanted to walk out of here with. Now, I don't see anywhere to get, so hopefully it's up in the front. If they're sold out, I'm going to cry. I'm going to throw a tantrum. And they're going to make me one right now. Couldn't do it at the park because it was too noisy. But here, we could do it. Hey, Chucky. Hey, you want to play? Hey, Chucky. I like to be hugged. Hey, Chucky. Playtime's over. Very happy with this purchase. Hey. Oh my god, like, I, I usually am not this kind of person, but damn that ass. Bro, I cannot believe I'm here. Look, I was very excited for Halloween Horror Nights. I love the spooky mama, but Ma Super Mario World, are you kidding me? God, I'm here, boys. Let's go down to Green Pipe. Oh, it's a little smaller than I expected, but everything here is absolutely gorgeous and fantastic, guys. I cannot believe the craftsmanship. Look at that piranha plant over there. Don't you just want to kiss it? Big fat lips.
All right, I'm in line now for the Mario Kart ride. I've actually heard terrible things about this. People always walk out disappointed, but uh, I'll give you my review and what I honestly think. Right now, loving the pink decor. Very Barbie inspired, but I guess Peach did do it first. Okay, fresh out of the Mario Kart ride. Look, I've heard a lot of disappointed people who go in there and I'm like, how can you be disappointed? It's Mario Kart. After experiencing it for myself, I get it. I think the VR glasses ruin the experience. It's so counterproductive because they've built these awesome sets to replicate Mario Kart levels like Rainbow Road and Bowser's Castle, but you don't get to enjoy it because they filter it with like this game you have to play with shooting the shells. I think if they want to make this a kiddie family friendly ride, that's fine take the VR stuff and just enjoy all the spectacles that they've built, even if it's not like a thrilling roller coaster thing. My two cents, slightly disappointed with it. How you doing, my friend? <laughs> nice to meet you, bud. Of course, man. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. We oh, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate you, I appreciate it. All right, first house, Stranger Things. Let's go in. All right, going in. I ain't afraid of nothing. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Vecna, come get me, baby. Thank God. All right, just got out of the Stranger Things 4 Vecna house. That was pretty awesome. I thought it wasn't gonna be that extreme. I usually never get scared in haunted houses. I actually jumped a couple of times in there. I liked it, uh, the eight out of 10, I enjoyed it. Move on to the next one. I'ma find them, I'ma find them. How do you like your baby? Extra crispy? Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Her forehead's as big as mine! This is where the magic happens! Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you know, I have not been hyping up this movie. I think uh, trailers haven't wowed me, nothing about it wowed me. That haunted house hyped me up way more than any of those trailers. I actually really dug that. I hope the movie's like that. 8 out of 10 again. <laughs> oh! Oh! The leprechaun! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, where's Santa? <laughs> so, the Hell House of Holidays, or whatever it was called, started off kind of lame, wasn't loving it. But once we got to like Halloween, leaving the leprechaun with St. Patrick's Day, eventually kicking into the Christmas holiday, that Santa scared the crap out of me. Uh, I was honestly going to give the house like a 6 out of 10, but... It kind of came through at the end, 7 out of 10. It was all right for me, pretty fun. Just as sexy as the real Joel. I don't know why, all these houses stink. I got him, get out of here! That's my oh, man. No. Oh, stop! Keep running! <laughs> Uh, Look at that. Oh, are you I guess that's kidding? why they call us the it's last like of the us. Other side, guys. All right. Look, as a haunted house, six out of ten. That aside, though, it is so cool. Everything they set up in that house. I'm more impressed with how many Ellie and Joel lookalikes they found to put all in one place because they kept popping up left and light like it's a multiverse movie. I liked it more just as a fan of the games and the show. Looked cool. Haunted House was not that tense. All right, so this is relatively new experience for me, the Terror Tram. We're going to hop ourselves in some seats. Already sold. My feet are killing me. 
and we're gonna see some spooky stuff. I heard Jordan Peele related stuff. Let's go in. Oh my god. <laughs> they got Bumblebee! Oh, they got the Scooby Doo car! A mystery machine? That's Dom Toretto's! If they caught Dom Toretto, we're screwed. <laughs> Whatever it takes to be Spider Man. All right, we are about to visit the set of Nope right there. You can see the horse that fell. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is so awesome. Oh, they got the little aliens from the movie, too. What? Oh my god! I just found the scariest house here. I don't know if I'm ready for this one, guys. Let's see if I survive. I'll wait for the next one. Oh. <laughs> Again, I feel like this is another house where I appreciate it for recreating moments from the movie because right now it's like top two, top three favorite movie of this year, Evil Dead Rise horror movie. But scary wasn't really scary to like those last five minutes of it. After that, it was okay. So seven out of ten for me. I was waiting for this house as the residential Chucky boy. Time to go in, man. Might not be scary, but I hear there's a lot of great Chucky dolls in there. Let's go in. All right, reviewing the Chucky house here. Again, as a haunted house, like a six out of 10, but like all the dolls they came out with, all the cool stuff that came out with it, and that giant Chucky doll at the very end. I've always thought they should do a giant Chucky doll in one of the movies. I loved it as a Chucky fan. That was so cool to go through. So nine out of 10 for me. All right, we saved the best for last. The Blum House house, I guess. Not really a haunted house, but they got a bunch of props from their movies. Megan, Black Phone, and Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm touching me some Freddy Fazbear tonight. Let's go. Here you go, Megan. Most excited right here. Oh my God, dude. Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear. We're gonna get to enjoy them, but let's see what other props they got going on here. Got the outfit of the grabber. Internet has dubbed him daddy, I understand. Okay. Outfit of the woman who was tossed around by the Invisible Man. Very good piece too. Huh. Not, not very invisible though. They should have brought out the suit he used to turn invisible. Oh, there it is. My bad. <laughs> Spoke too soon, guys. Spoke way too soon. It's here. It's here. Dude, she looks insane, bro. That skin looks a little too realistic. Know what I mean? See you, Megs. Just once, when you enter the DC, you're going to get a really close look at you. So 
How am I going to get close to Freddy Fazbear? They're right there. They look absolutely fantastic in person. Oh my god, dude. That smile and everything. Look at that fox. He can't even stand on his own two feet. Oh my god. Chica and her cupcake. Bro, that's insane. Chica's got the most scarce face. things up for my first time going to Halloween Horror Nights. Honestly, guys, I had a blast. I've always wanted to do this, and I was only able to because of you guys who support me, who watch me, like, subscribe to all these videos. So thank you for letting me do this, and I hope you had fun watching it. Uh, this was a great time. I got my, my first Halloween Horror Night shirt right here. I'll try. I don't know if this will be a tradition. If I can keep affording to come, I will, and I will entertain you guys as much as I possibly can. But again, just thank you. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.